This is Kilo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to open the Brinks 672 series style padlock with the Sparrows Bypass Driver. This is a tool that costs $7.99 American, and we take advantage of a very severe defect in the design to this lock. Now, when you look at this, you know, it looks like a beefy, intimidating padlock. It's heavy. It's, it's got some decent weight to him. The first thing you're going to look at as a locksmith is the shackle. You know, it says it's made of boron steel. I don't know how true that is. But just the thickness of this thing, regardless if it's really boron steel or not, I mean, that's a thick shackle, even if it's made out of, you know, the weakest metal. And if you're, um, if all you have on you is bolt cutters, you know, some, I've seen some lock shops that that's what they carry on their vans and that's incredible. You know, their, their locksmiths have Popeye arms because if you've ever used lock, um, bolt cutters, it's, it's the worst task you've ever been given. Um, I don't care how strong you are. It's, it's the worst job of all time. Um, especially if this is the first job of your day, like you're going to go through, the rest of your day like ace ventura you know when he gets hit with those darts just you know let's say you have eight more jobs to <laughs> show up with floppy arms and um you're really just gonna look at that and be like oh my god i'm not i'm not even trying to do that so your second you know option would be you know i'm gonna you know have to get a grinder and grind this thing off because that's insane and you don't even need a grinder that is even too much work for this so all of the effort that went into this design, the stamp that says boron steel, this cover, this everything to look super intimidating. The whole purpose of this, the lock, you know, like the locking mechanism itself is flawed as they forgot to put shielding behind this core. So if we take a tool such as this bypass driver, you know, we look at him and he's got a significant bend at the end of him. So we'll go ahead and fish him through the keyway. And sometimes it's a little difficult to get him past all of the pins due to that curve, but we're going to try. So we've got him to the back. And now all we have to do is just simply twist and we have opened this padlock. We remove this tool and now we are in your shed or your garage or whatever you have, you know, this lock protecting. We just fill up our van full of all of your tools. And then to mess with you even further and, you know, cause you even more grief, we could just put this back, you know, through the hasp and take off. And then you'll show up, you know, you'll come back from vacation. You'll see your lock is still there. You're like, oh, you know, we're good. And then you don't even think about it. You know, you might not even walk in your garage. You might park in your driveway, walk in, and then you might not even know that we were ever in your home. And then one day, you know, you come out to your shed or whatever it is, and you put, you know, it works perfectly. You know, you're like, no one mess with this. And you open it up and everything's gone. And you're like, what? Like, your mind is blown. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's just kind of a made up scenario, but... I mean, you can't, you can't tell me that it's, it's right for a company to sell a lock with such a horrible design defect like this. Like, come on, Brinks. Like, you're supposed to be a respectable brand here in the world of hardware store locks. Like, Brinks is usually thought of on the higher end, and that's just disrespectful to charge any amount of money to sell a padlock like this. So... Uh, I just wanted to point that out, show you guys, you know, maybe you have your own uh, version of this lock that you lost your key to. Um, if you don't want to go the bolt cutter route or anything, you can go ahead and pick one of these up from Sparrow's Lockpicks. I'll leave a uh, link in the description below. And that's really all there is to this video. If it helped you guys, if you guys learned something, I didn't really make this to show you how to criminally break in to someone's property i am more so showing a consumer you know what you bought you know what you just spent your money on and there are a lot better options 
Um, so this is just one of the locks with this design uh, flaw. And that's really, I'm just trying to help you guys out here with this channel. So please don't try and just go break into people's padlocks. I do not um, endorse any kind of criminal activity on this channel. Uh, this is purely educational. And if you guys learned something, you know, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay safe, stay legal, and have a good day.